Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car, and I'm standing in front of a very interesting vehicle and the proprietor of Wild Boar Products. Paul, tell us a little bit about yourself and what we're looking at right here. Yeah, my name's Paul Leiser. I'm actually VP of Sales at Wild Boar. Been with the owner for five years, even back when we did the Land and Runner conversion. Uh, about three years ago, we came up with an idea to take a JK four-door and turn it into a JK six-wheel drive vehicle, and we call it the JK six. All right, and are the axles functional all the way in the back too? Absolutely, so and we do that, did a lot of research. We found a company out of Florida that builds, rebuilds the old Ford design nine inch axle with a pass through nine pin differential. So you can actually direct the drive shaft straight into whatever's behind it to make it a dual axle. So both wheels turn forward in the drive and then turn in reverse the back end. That's awesome. Can you take us through this? We definitely want to see the, the, the setup. And you've made it into basically a, kind of a pickup truck as well in the back. Correct. Well, that's fantastic. Decided, Let's have a look. A lot of people were buying the uh, AV roof model. Yeah. And, you know, we're fiberglass fabricators, so we did all of the fenders. We make them look like Jeep, but they bolt on about four inches taller. You can see, I don't know if you can see inside there, but see the drive shaft? That drive shaft, because these are on sway bars, these articulate. I can get this wheel all the way above this wheel, and I can get this wheel all the way above that wheel. Oh, how cool. With the sway bars here. And by doing that, you don't want to break your drive shaft that goes from the nine, nine inch Ford axle to the Jeep axle, so it collapses up to 10 inches. Okay, okay so, uh, wow, so that's quite a bit of uh, travel. And it goes through lots of terrain. And this is uh, our tonneau cover. You don't have to get this. The case we make comes with a straight piece of foam, but as you see, we did it for our, our AR-15 and shotgun and a couple of pistols. And, you can do any configuration you want. It's a straight piece of foam when they order the, the Jeep. That's pretty slick as well. This is the, the actual back end of the four-door Jeep. We cut it at the rivets and we did sheet metal on the sides. And you got the actual, so it looks like Jeep made the vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's a really clean job. Mm -hmm. Is this trailer part of your uh, organization as well? a brand new toy hauling trailer. It hauls two dirt bikes or an ATV or jet ski or whatever you want to put in. And it's brand new, it has actuators. It wasn't complete, but we bought it anyway. It's going to have another window on the other side, and it's going to have a remote control actuator you put on your keychain that opens it up. Oh, sweet! You can drive your dirt bikes in there or your ATV. How much is this? A solid axle with leaf springs, and it weighs 600 pounds this whole entire trailer. Really? Even fiberglass. with the top? Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So, are, do you have the regular V6 in the Jeep? That, or? This one here is the stock Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. Yes, it does. We're building one for a customer in Indonesia right now. Mm -hmm. He's putting a 6.4 liter Hemi SRT V8 and a Dana 60 axle on the back. That, yeah. You don't need a Dana 60 for that other axle. That other axle is like a Dana 70. It's actually thicker than the Dana 60. Wow. It's a nine inch designed by Ford. Great. Well, hey, could you do me a favor? Do you have a website that you can call out um, and that we can post as well? Yes, we do. Uh, you can go to our, our mother company is Wild Boar Products. The company that can, does this JK six-wheeler conversion is called Tyrant Motorworks, mm -hmm. which when you go on the wildboarproducts.com website, you'll see an icon on the home page that says JK six. You just click on that. It gives you a couple of videos of us out in the train in this JK six. And it also gives you all the options. You know, it has another gas tank in the behind the seats, so you can you can go a thousand mile range without wow. refueling. Yeah, I was wondering because we, we have uh, we're we're doing a thing around the country in a Wrangler, and we've been averaging towing a trailer about 15 miles per gallon. Yeah, which doesn't help. <laughs> Actually, this gets about 11 miles per gallon with the V6. It's not that bad. No, not really. Not with the whole axle behind it, a secondary yeah. one. Uh -huh. uh, where are you guys based out of? Huntington Beach, California. Huntington Beach. Excellent. Well, guys, there you go. For the Fast Lane Car, thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for your time. I really thank appreciate you. it. We appreciate it.